On Earth, scientists can work out the chemical composition of most objects. But what do they do if the object is thousands of kilometers away? The sun is our nearest star, and it's a staggering 150 million kilometers away. Now, the fastest car on planet Earth goes at 430 kilometers per hour, but even at that speed directly to the sun, it would still take us more than 40 years to get there. Now, I haven't got a car that goes anywhere near that speed. So, how are we going to find out what it's made of in five minutes? Well, I reckon I can get halfway there with this cardboard tube and an old CD. Have we ever seen a demonstration where white light has been split into loads of different colours? No. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue? No. It's like a rainbow. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is exactly a rainbow. <laughs> but you can also do it using a tube and a CD <laughs> that don't look on the other side. You don't want to see the music that I listen to. And if we use this special device like that, what we can do is, if you look through that hole at the CD, you'll be able to see kind of different colours. So I'll let you all have a go. <laughs> and point it around, see if you can catch the light. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another way to make it a bit brighter. So this is an LED light, and that will give you the nice white light that consists of all the different colours like that. So if we shine that through the ends now, you might be able to see it a bit better. Yeah, no, I can see it now. Can you see all the different <laughs> colours? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so cool. Start making your own <laughs> rainbow. This simple homemade spectrometer is surprisingly similar to the equipment scientists have used to observe the light being emitted from the sun. And we can learn more about the light that the sun emits on Earth by observing the colours produced in the flames of burning elements. By burning compounds containing different elements, you can see that they each have their own characteristic colour. Potassium gives a lilac flame. Lithium gives a red flame. Sodium gives a yellow flame. Whereas copper gives a greenish blue flame. Now, each element not only emits a certain type of light, it will also absorb the exact same colour of light. It's because of the light given off by the elements reacting that we are able to know what the sun's made of. This is an absorption spectrum of the sun. It's just like the spectrum we saw earlier, but it's a lot more detailed. These dark lines show a light of certain wavelengths is absorbed by the elements present in the sun. We know that elements emit and absorb the same wavelengths of light, so this means the dark lines also correspond to wavelengths being emitted by the sun. As white light passes through the sun's atmosphere, some wavelengths are absorbed by atoms of the elements that are present. This means that the light that reaches us from the sun is missing some wavelengths, which corresponds to an element in the sun's atmosphere. So the dark lines in the spectra of the sun show that it's made of hydrogen, about 70%, helium, about 28%, and elements such as nitrogen, oxygen and iron in much smaller quantities. If you look at the spectrum of any distant star, we can work out what they're made of too. This has helped scientists make some amazing discoveries about stars in our universe, many of which are very different from our own star, the Sun. <laughs>